Welcome to an Aristocrat Humidor Humidification Tutorial. Today we will focus on the XL Humidification System for Cigar Storage. We will start with the unboxing. The first component removed will be the head unit slash top. Set it aside for the moment. Keep the cardboard and packing materials until the unit is up and running and are satisfied in case need of return. And now we move on to the basin, seen here. At this point, go ahead and remove the basin from the packaging and set the packaging aside, once again saving it. Inside the basin, there are several components we need to discuss. The float rod, the filter slash wick. There is the product pouch, which contains the wheels and generic instructions. As well as the white box, which contains our control suite. Inside of the white box, you will find the heart of this system. Starting with the one amp power supply, next will be the humidification connecting cable with blue H's, then the power extension cable with red P's. This is the actual control unit itself, and now we have the cable management bag. Also inside are the instructions, the programming guide, as well as the manufacturer's booklet. This system is accurate to 2% as well as will keep your humidor within a 2% range of the set point. The controls are sent out preset for 70% humidity. Now for the system placement section. Find a place within your humidor that is free of any obstructions such as shelving. The top of the top is the input and the front beveled area being the output. Go ahead and place your humidifier here and you can fill with up to 5 gallons of distilled water. Now I will focus on the float rod low water safety. The rod has a styrofoam foot that floats when the basin is filled, which depresses a switch on the underneath of the head unit, as shown here. Make sure the wires are removed from their packing position and free and in the rear of the head unit, then place the top carefully down upon the basin. When placing the top upon the basin, you must be sure that the inner lip of the top sits down inside of the rim of the basin. Using the brass screw included in the cable management bag, hang the control around eye level height in an accessible position. Then locate the sensor out of the direct output of the humidifier in an open area at eye level height. To continuing the wiring, we have the control placed within an easy C set. You see we are connecting the red P's to red P's, male to female connectors. And then we will connect the power extension cable to the 110 plug. Now using the 15 foot humidification signal cable, once again, blue H to blue H, we will run the cable over to the humidifier and connect one last time. And this has the wiring of this system complete. The IB connector is for a Wi-Fi access module. The R is for a remote fan not used in this application. The control comes preset at 70% humidity. The control cycles between humidity, which has a decimal in the number, and the temperature, which is always a whole number. You power on your humidifier by pressing this button. If the humidity within the humidor is below the low set point on the control unit, you will see the humid light turn on. This means the humidification signal is being sent to your XL unit. There are three fan speeds with this unit, simply labeled F1, 2, and 3. Also, for this unit to work properly under the control of our control unit, the humidity must be set on 65 as shown here. Now with the XL unit properly wired, we can run through a quick test. Go to your sensor head and simply cover with your hand. You can watch the humidity rise and when it breaches the high set point, the XL unit will turn off. Release the sensor and when the humidity falls below the low set point, the XL humidifier will turn right back on. 
Here there will be a short troubleshooting section. The first issue is if there is an F on the display of your XL humidifier. This means the float rod safety switch is not depressed and you need to be sure that the inner lip of the top is seated down inside the rim of the basin. This could also be caused by simply having not enough water within the basin. The wick slash filter must be facing forward as shown here. If it is reversed, the air plenum can impede the fan. And for those who wish for a continuous water flow solution, we do offer float valve installation in this unit. You can see samples of the interior and exterior here. Thank you for watching another Aristocrat Humidor humidification tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe.